What is up guys, SFON82 back with a brand new video and today do I have a good one for you guys. It's going to be a fun one. We're covering my favorite gimmick in comic books, glow in the dark covers. So stick around. All right guys, welcome back. Now what I have done is I've went through all my boxes, pulled out every glow in the dark comic book that I had and I was gonna show you guys what they look like in the light. Then we're gonna flip the light switch and look at them in the dark. So let's go ahead and get started. The first book I have is Daredevil and this is issue 321. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in the light and then we'll switch to the dark. All right, and here is that Daredevil. Kind of helps to wave the black light over it so you get a good glimpse. The next book that I have to show you guys is Radioactive Man, and this is issue number one. Here is Radioactive Man, number one. Next, the book I have is from DC, and it is Superman, issue 123. Here is Superman. That one looks really cool. Up next, the book that I have is The Horrors, Clive Barker book. Here you can see The Horrors glowing. Pretty cool. The next book I pulled is Cyberspace 3000. This is issue one. Cool Galactus cover there. This one you can see Galactus saying, I hunger. That's pretty cool. Next up, I have Noctera number one. The glow in the dark cover and this is what noctera issue one looks like in the dark good stuff and if you've never read that book it's an awesome book as well next i have batman and this is issue 530 really cool batman now here's the batman book and what's cool about it is you see opposite image dead man when he when you're uh holding a light to it or in the dark so that's pretty cool next up we have Ghost Rider issue 15, and this is the first print, as well as the second print, gold ink cover. Both the first and second print of the Ghost Riders, as you can see, they don't look any different in the dark. Here is Geiger issue 1, the glow-in-the-dark version. Here's one that I really like a lot. This is a good read, a cool cover, just an all-around good book. Geiger, issue one. Next up on the list, Something is Killing the Children. Can't remember what issue this is. I want to say like 18, 19, somewhere in there. But it is Something is Killing the Children. Now on this one, it's very minimal, but it's Something is Killing the Children. It just barely glows a little bit at the top, those fangs. And then Erica Slaughter there. Next up, Evil Ernie, Revenge, Issue 1. Got Lady Death on there. Here's a really good one that all glows. Evil Ernie, Revenge. Next up, got two of these guys. This is Shadowhawk, Issue 3. Next up, we have another great one. This is from Image. It's Shadowhawk issue three. And next up, we have Phantom Star Killer. This is issue one, the glow in the dark. And I had to grab two of those bad boys. These probably glow the best out of any of the ones that I have. The Phantom Star Killer. It's really cool, really cool books. And last but not least, we have the recent release from McFarlane, and it is Batman Spawn. It's the hardcover edition, and this actually came in Glow in the Dark, which is pretty cool. So we'll check it out in the dark. And last but not least, we have Batman Spawn. Thanks so much for sticking around and checking out these covers with me, guys. I had so much fun showing them to you. Like I said before, I love Glow in the Dark covers. It's probably my favorite gimmick. It gets me every time. I always have fun looking at these. 
please like, please subscribe. I'm on that road to 400, trying to get there. I'll come up with a really cool giveaway for you guys soon and um, announce it on Instagram and uh, in another video. But until next time, peace.